Viewer discretion is advised. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, hey. Please, please, I didn't see anything, okay? I didn't see anything. Just please don't shoot. Don't shoot. <laughs> in cases that others don't. I was bitten by a radioactive child, so I look for him for my age. And my catchphrase is son of a gun. I never miss a clue, and I have a degree in creative writing. Gosh darn it, I'm the best darn detective in the world. When are you two going to learn you need to play it by the book? You can't just waltz into a candy store and set fire to children. That's not important right now, Chief. What did you call us in for? Someone's killed all our other detectives. Now they're threatening to break our coffee. I table. think I know where you're going with this. Oh, really? I didn't do it. No, Hox. Now, with all our other detectives gone, you're the only two we can turn to. Is you. Hey, Chief. Hi, oh, Mr. Plutz. I was expecting you. Boys, this is Mr. Plutz, the man who sells us our firearms. Nice to meet you. His color is crooked. No wife would let him leave the house looking like that. But he's wearing a wedding band, which shows he's either married and happily and having an affair, or his wife died. Judging by his belt that he's wearing one notch looser, his wife died approximately one month ago, which gave him time to gain weight but not notice it yet. But by the state of his pocket, which is crumbled inside of his pant leg, he's been giving all his money away. But not to the homeless, to prostitutes based on the sweat stains underneath his armpits. I'm guessing about five encounters with these women of the night because of his shoes, which are new but worn, which shows he's been wearing them non-stop while walking around in search of these women late at night, and they were bought about a week ago for the funeral you decided not to attend. Am I right? No, that was all wrong. Oh. But the, the, the prostitute thing was correct, right? No, nothing was correct. Okay. Well, I guess I should be going. Uh, Johnson, it was good to meet you. I don't trust him. I can hear you. I still don't trust him. I can still hear you. thinking it's a homicide. Yeah, anything else? Have I ever told you about my dead wife? Yes, Hawks, you She was told. skinned alive by a maniac. I know, Hawks. Roasted like a Thanksgiving turkey. Hawks, you don't have to tell Impaled me. Impaled like a shish kebab. Hawks, it's very sad. And then, 30 years later, at her Wait. funeral. How old are you? He was there. We got talking, got a couple of drinks. Turns out it was just a big misunderstanding. All right, but what does that have to do with the case? Hello? Who, what, when, where, why, and how? I see. Who was that? That was the pastor at the First Christian Church of Cityson. He has some information. He wants to meet us at the church. I don't understand. He 
He said he'd meet us here. Where is he? I don't know. Hold on, I know a guy who might be able to help us. Hello? Hey, this is Johnson. Hey, Johnson. So listen, my partner and I are working on a case and we're stumped on something. I see. What do you need help with? You know the pastor at the First Christian Church of Cityton? Yeah, he's a reliable guy. Well, he said to meet him at the church, but he's nowhere to be found. I see. What does your partner think about all this? Hold on, let me ask. Hey, Hawks. Yeah? What do you think about all this? It's all very confusing. He said it's all very confusing. I see. Can I talk to him? Sure, hold on a second. Wants to talk to you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, this is Hawks. Hey, Hawks, it is Hawks. So, uh, I'm having some trouble with the case. Yeah, I heard. So, uh, have you checked outside yet? Johnson! Have you checked outside yet? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay, that's definitely where you should start now. Okay, thanks so much. I love you. I love you too. Goodbye. Goodbye. You said to check outside. There's the pastor. What kind of a god would... Oh, Johnson. Look at that spider monkey over there. What? Where? It's, it's right there. It's right there. Hawks at the dog. Yeah. What did I say? You said spider monkey. Johnson, this is what we know so far. Hmm. Uh, what? Hi. Who might you be? The name's Interest. Love Interest. I'm new around here, and I'm introducing myself to new neighbors. Who are you? The name's Hawks. Detective Hawks. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Hawks. Do you have a first name? Detective. I see. And who's that? It's not important. Okay. Well, what are you guys doing on this fine hour? Homicide. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go introduce myself to other neighbors. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe you will. What a woman. Okay. So, tell me about yourself, Johnson. Got a wife, family, kids. No, I never had the time. I was too busy with detective work. Well, what did you do before you were a detective? I was an image manipulator. Uh, my specialty was photo editing dog genitalia out of greeting cards. Oh, well. Did it, did it pay well? No, not at all. But I enjoyed the work. So what about you? What, what did you do before all this? Well, uh, I was actually a magician. Hoorah. Really? Yeah, you want to see a trick? No. Huh. Okay, excuse me. Johnson, I just got back from the dollar store. If we're gonna do some real investigating, we need some real police tools. And this is a gun. It is in case someone's chasing us upstairs. Hogs, you bought a gun at the dollar store? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is America, Johnson. And these are fake mustaches for getting out of awkward situations. All right, couldn't you also use those as like a disguise if you need to get away from bad guys or they're chasing you? I like that. I'm gonna use that. You're a smart guy, Johnson. These are for me. Hugs, you have sunglasses already. You're wearing them. They were a bargain, Johnson. Love interest? Oh, hey, Chief. Hawks, Johnson! We got another lead. Come on! Alright, Chief. Now will you tell us what's going on? The person we're waiting for. Wait! There he is. What are you looking for, son? Anyone who might be listening. Oh! I think we're clear. Hawks, Johnson. This is Daniel, Mr. Plutz's son. Mr. Plutz? The man who supplies the PlayStation with its firearms? It's the same. I have some very important information to help you with your case. It's quite disturbing, so brace yourselves. My father is behind the murders. But there's more. All these senseless murders were just part of his, his bigger plan. Spit it out, boy! My father's true intention is to turn himself into a giant gun. <laughs> Wait. So your father is turning himself into a gun, and you're his son. So that would make you a. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? I don't know. I got nothing. Really? Yeah, I'm blanking. You wouldn't call him a son of a of a what? Gun? <laughs> Johnson, you son of a gun! Oh wow, that was good. He's Johnson. He's the funny guy. Wow, that was great. <laughs> wow, that was, that was magnificent, Johnson. Johnson, wake up. Yeah, what? I found this box outside the apartment. What do you think it is? Did you order something? No. Oh my god! Thanks, Hawks. You get a raise. Yes! <sighs> See you, Chief. Hawks, what are we gonna do now? Well, I never thought I'd say this, but I think this has become too much for just the two of us. I think I might know a guy who can help. He was retired, but if there's anyone that can help, it's him. After all, he's the one that taught me to be a detective. Hawks! Hi, Johnson. Come in. Rachel, look who's home. Hi, Hawks. Rachel? Oh, I can't wait to hear all about your exciting detective life. Not right now, Mom. I'm in the middle of an important case. Is Dad home? Yeah, he's in his study. Hey, Pops. Hawks. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen. I need some help with the case. Sure, anything I can do. We found out that, uh, Mr. Plutz is behind a series of murders. Mr. Plutz, the firearms distributor? Yeah, that's him. We found out his plan is to turn himself into a giant gun 
but we don't know where he is or how to stop him. Do you have, do you have any ideas? Well, you have the address for Plus Industries headquarters on file at the office. I say you go confront him directly. Arrest him if you have to. Of course. It's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? You think I'd be able to having a dad who's such a great detective? I've been meaning to talk to you about that. What do you mean? Hux, you're adopted. No. No! No! Okay, so I have some questions about that. Hawks, I know you must be upset, I guess, but we still have a case to finish. No, you have a case to finish. What? I can't handle this in my emotional state. I quit, I quit, I quit. Hawks, you know I can't work this case without you. If you quit, and I quit too. You do what you want. I just gotta take some time by myself for a little while. Who am I? Am I still that guy? You're adopted. Who saw lots of crimes and kills back. What's life's purpose? And is it worth it? Am I the best? Or just the second best? Hello, detective. Did you need something? I was just wondering how the case was going. It's not actually quit the force yesterday. For good this time. I'm sorry to hear that. From what I heard, you were a darn good detective. Darn right I was. But something came up, I just couldn't continue. What a shame. The world needs more hardworking men like you. What are you gonna do next? I haven't really given it much thought. There's plenty of good jobs out there. And whatever you choose to do, I'm sure you could be great. Thanks for believing in me. Of course. What a woman. Love and trust was right. I couldn't just sit around doing nothing. I had to get another job. So I went back to what I do best. As you can see, I have two rings. I can see the hole in that one. Can you see this hole? I loved my new job. I thought I'd continue being a birthday party magician forever. But then, something happened. Yes. Oh, sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. You went that way. Oh. Son of a gun. When all was said and done, I knew what I had to do. Hawks! Come on, Johnson. We have a city to save. Detective Hawks, PD! Hawks, you're not a police department. Yeah. yeah. Where are you? 
Jake Fox, FBI. Fox is not part of the FBI either. You're, you're a detective. Yeah. Take a pause. And friend. Love interest. Fox, I have something to tell you. Mr. Plutz, you were love interest this whole time? <laughs> yes, and you blockheads have finally discovered that? <sighs> now, I finally have the chance to fulfill my ultimate fantasy and become a gun myself! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Go, go, go. Standing up. I just shot you. Oh, you're crazy. Mr. Plus, you're under arrest. Great job, boys. You finally got this son of a gun. Hey, no, that's my cash line. What do you mean it's your cash line? Guys, guys, let's not fight during the climax, okay? You're right. We did it. We should we should be celebrating. Pops! More twist. No, Hawks, we know that's just Mr. Plutz wearing a mask. Oh, Hawks! I'm the world's best detective. Yeah, yeah. And a pretty good magician. Yeah, yeah. And a semi alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. With a mediocre sidekick. Take it away, Johnson! Take five. Thank you.